Hi, my name is Jenny Torty, and I'm a perinatal patient educator at St. John's Regional Medical Center in Oxnard, California. And today I want to share with you some information about what you can expect as a maternity patient while you're here with us, given our COVID precautions. We know that pregnancy is an exciting and also stressful time, and we want to make sure that we put your mind at ease about what you can expect. enter the hospital, you and your support person will be asked health screening questions. You'll also have your temperature taken and then you'll be given a mask that we ask that you wear while you're here with us, both you and your support person. And then if your support person needs to leave the hospital for any reason, they will be rescreened when they come back. hospital stay, you can have one support person be with you during your entire time with us. We ask that that person minimize the amount of times they would need to leave the hospital. And so for that reason, you and your support person will have all of your meals while you're here. And if they need to leave for any reason, just know that they will be rescreened when they re-enter the hospital. For your safety and the safety of your baby, at this time we're not allowing visitors to come see you at the hospital. So we do encourage you to do FaceTime or video chat while you're here. And that also includes siblings. So do prepare if you do have other children that they'll get to meet their new baby brother or sister when they get home. After delivery, you can expect to be with us for an average of two days for a vaginal birth and three to four days for a cesarean birth. In order to prepare for the birth of your baby, you can go to our St. John's website, Maternity and Birth Center, and see that we have an online childbirth course available for you to take. We also are here for you after you go home. So be aware that we are now offering three online support groups weekly. The first is our breastfeeding support group, which helps moms with any issues they may have feeding their baby. The second is mom to mom and this is a support group designed for pregnant and postpartum moms to help them navigate kind of the emotional ups and downs that they may be experiencing during this time. And then our last support group is Mommy and Me, which goes over infant and child development issues and helps you just navigate parenting in general. So we're here for you in any way that we can, even if we can't be in person. Thank you.